Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how I created this full face of Alma Beauty products. I was sent all these products from Look Fantastic over the past year or so, and I'm really excited to share with you the full face, so let's hop on into it. The first product I'm starting out with is the Black Magic Allure Palette. This is a 10 pan eyeshadow palette, which I love for this time of year. I'm starting out with the shade Romantic on my primed and set lids and just kind of putting that on with no rhyme or reason, just liberally applying it. And then I'm applying my e.l.f. Glitter Primer, which is unfortunately discontinued, but it's a really good sticky base to allow a flaky metallic like this one to adhere to. This is the shade Divine from the palette as well. It's a gorgeous bronze metallic, but it does tend to have quite a bit of fallout, so that base is pretty crucial with this, as you'll see. I still do get fallout anyways. Next up, I'm going to hop into the shade Allure, which is a greeny gold color. I'm excited about it, as you can see. It's definitely my kind of color. I'm just applying that with my finger as well. It is a bit more of a refined sort of texture, a little bit more of a finer kind of granule, I suppose, but definitely still need that tacky base for it. And then I'm going to hop back on into the palette for the shade Lush, which is in my Pamela's eyeshadow, so I had to integrate it into this look. It's a gorgeous forest green matte color, and I'm kind of doing like a smudgy sort of uh, lash line here to just create a little bit more drama. And then I got to blend, blend, blend just to make sure everything looks nice and cohesive. But you can see it created quite a bit of fallout on my under eyes. Next up, I'm going into the shade Lady of Gold, and I'm just applying that on my finger and right, right at the lash line so that it just creates a little bit more of a bounce back of the light right above where my pupils are. And you can see, I've just got to clean up all of that follow. There's quite a bit of fallout with this palette. It can be a little tedious, but the result, if, as you can see, is stunning. That scattered glitter particle is beautiful. So now I just want to kind of like rehydrate my skin a little bit and just amplify the glow, just make it look a little bit more intentional. So I'm using my Milani primer. And this sits really nicely under the foundation I'm about to use, which is the Say What foundation. I have mine in the shade Fair Lady T2W, which is a very golden color. And I did apply quite a bit on the back of my hand, so I don't need that much to get the coverage I'm going to show you here. But I like to apply this with my finger to kind of warm up the formula and to blend it all across my skin so that I can ensure I get even coverage with it. And then I'm just going in with my Eco Tool sponge to really buff it into the skin. You can see, although it looked very yellow on me as it works into the skin, it just is like my perfect color. It looks so skin-like and natural, yet it is extremely perfected. It's unreal how easily this blends and how effortless it looks on the skin. You can see here a comparison. So yeah, that coverage is unreal. But it looks so real. <laughs> I'm just going to be replicating the same technique on the other side. And it looks like I'm being very aggressive here, but uh, I don't know. I think I just finished my coffee or I was in the middle of drinking my coffee. So whatever. And then I'm going into the Stay Woke Concealer. I love this formula. It's so good. You really don't need a lot to get really high coverage. So I'm putting it under my eyes and on my blemishes starting out blending it on the blemishes because I don't really feel like I need as much um, like of a set before I move to the under eyes. As you'll see, I kind of take a minute, let it kind of sit there so that I can amp up the coverage and just allow it to do the work for me a little bit more. And then buffing it out with that sponge, it just looks so skin-like again, like perfected, but real skin. It's amazing. Now I'm going into the uh, double take duo stick here on a duo fiber brush. I'm going right from the stick onto the brush. And so you can see it does look very, very pigmented, very rich. But as I blend it, which looks like I'm kind of haphazard and maybe a bit aggressive, but this is just how I do it on a daily basis. So I'm just going to be buffing it into the skin and it becomes so seamless. Again, this is like a common theme with the Alma products is they look so perfected but seamless and and enhanced without looking overly makeup-y. 
like watch how this just becomes one with my skin. So I want to just amp up a little bit more here. So I applied it to the back of my hand first just to ensure I didn't put down too much product. And now I'm just bringing it a little bit higher on the cheeks and up onto the temples so that I just get the nice bronzed and sculpted effect that I'm after with this look. And then taking it down the neck, but of course, as I almost always have to do with my bronzer, and then blending it again with the sponge because that just gives it the most skin-like finish. And this is the highlighter side of that stick, and you can see I just apply it with my finger, and it takes absolutely no effort whatsoever to just become this glisteny, glazed goodness on my face. There's no discernible sparkle or powder finish because it's a cream. It just looks like beautiful, beautiful, glisteny skin. I love it. I have to set under my eyes, not only because I do tend to get very significant lines under my eyes, but the mascara I'm going to be using is a little troublesome sometimes. So I'm setting under my eyes, between my brows and my smile lines, basically everywhere that I get emotion lines, really. This next product, this was the first time I was using it. It is the Brow Fro Blowout Gel. That's so hard to say. You can definitely tell I'm having a little bit of a hard time with this product. Um, it's a much more liquidy formula versus pomade or moussey sort of formula that I'm used to. So I wanted to share with you the full process and how much pigmentation I got from just that first swipe, that first like application. It's um, pretty impressive after using it a handful of times since filming this footage. I can tell you I like it more than I think I did on my first impression. It does take a little bit more getting used to compared to other brow gels that I'm more familiar with, but you can see it offers tons and tons of pigmentation, definition, and you can kind of press it down onto the skin, which I like so that I can really create the shape that I'm after. But I don't know if it's the shade but I do feel like it's a little rich for my liking. So I just went through with a spoolie with no product on it to just kind of soften it a little bit. Then I'm going in to do the lower lash line and I think I'm gonna go into the shade Romantic here. Yeah, I am. And it's a coral shade. I'm just going to kind of apply that liberally across the lower lash line just to give me a nice um, cohesive look and then a quick blend again. Going into the shade Divine again, which I had on the outer corner. This time I'm spraying my brush and then I'm going to saturate my brush in product, but you can see in a moment here, I do get tons of fallout. I do have to say, I think that the trouble of this palette is worth it, even though it can be, you know, a little problematic, but the effect that it gives is just unlike anything else that I just, I love it anyways. And then I'm just going to use my pressed powder, like really just work the product into the brush and flick the fallout away. This way I can kind of lift and pull the fallout off my face. And I find that this is like the best way to just get rid of that. Going back into Lady of Gold on a fluffy kind of brush now and just applying that all over my inner corner to brighten up the inner corner as well and just tie the look together. I'm using a NYX Golden Bronze Liner in the waterline because this is very comparable to the color of Divine and I think it just ties the look together again. Seeing as I don't have a blush by Oma, I'm going to use the shade Romantic from the palette, which is a matte coral, and I'm just going to apply that using an angled blush brush. Because these pans are quite large, I can get quite a bit of product onto my brush and then I'm just going to apply this virtually everywhere, even across my nose to get a nice blushed look. Next up, I'm going into the Drama Bomb Mascara. I have had mine open since about February, so I know that that's kind of sacrilege to some people, but it's totally fine still. Unfortunately for me, this formula does tend to get a lot of transfer and smudging, so it doesn't have the longevity that I'm after, but you can see here, it does create a really beautiful lash look. So. I know some people don't get that struggle. It is just an unfortunate thing that I have with my hooded eyes and the like how recessed my eyes are, but I just think this formula could work for other people with other eye shapes. I it's just not for me. But after two coats you can see how gorgeous it is. Like the impact it offers is unreal. I'm going to put this on my lower lashes just for the video. However, in real life I would not be doing this because 
it just does that transfer so significantly. It transfers so badly on me, unfortunately, because it's so nice. I'm trying out this lip duo for the first time and I'm really excited about it. As you can see, it is a beautiful brown lip pencil. This is the shade Simone and it offers a very precise, rich pigmentation. Um, and I really, really liked this on my first impression. I have worn it a couple times since and it is amazing. It really does enhance the longevity of your lipstick and it just allows for a more precise application as well. Could definitely apply this before or after lipstick to kind of fix up anything or as I'm doing here, I'm using it as more of a base for an opaque coverage. I'm just drawing using the side of the pencil to kind of fill in my lips here. And then I'm going in with that lipstick for the first time. I had never opened up the bullet before. You can see I was pretty impressed. It feels quite weighty. It feels very luxe. This is, yeah, my first impression, my first thought. I looked at it and I didn't even want to put it on my lips. Look how beautiful that looks. But here we go. We're going to apply Nina all over the lips on top of that liner. And it is just so rich and pigmented and creamy, but long lasting. It is a really beautiful lipstick formula and color. This kind of brown is just so nice at this time of year. I really, really am happy that I have this in my collection. This color is just gorgeous. You can tell I'm super happy with it. So here's the finished look a little bit closer up so you can see how everything is sitting on the skin, how it all looks in a lower light. But yeah, that's everything. I really appreciate Look Fantastic for sending me these products over the last like year or so. Really enjoy using all these products. Thank you so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. <laughs>